we're going to go over how to record multiple takes and then comp a vocal. Now, I'm not a singer, so I'm just going to demonstrate how to record multiple takes so that you can get a take folder, but then I will do the actual comp and demonstration with someone who can actually sing to minimize the torture you'll have to go through. So, first up, I'm going to navigate to the vocal track. I'm on the guitar track still. Track three vocal group. All right. Got the vocal track selected here. And by default, a track input will be set to input one. My microphone is plugged into input one on my interface. So I don't really have to do much there. I can turn on input monitoring with control I. Also, if we interact with the track header. In track three vocal, group, zero pan, circular slider. See, so you have a pan. Plus 0.0, .0 decibels. Volume, volume slider, fader. Input monitoring, uncheck, checkbox. And you can turn input monitoring. Record enable, uncheck, Record checkbox. enable. Solo, unmute, uncheck, checkbox. Solo and mute. Now, solo is just S, mute is just M. S and M will toggle solo and mute. Record enable, uh, control R will toggle record enable, and control I will toggle input monitoring. So you don't necessarily have to come in here unless you want to adjust the volume or the pan. All right, so I'm going to stop interacting with this track Auto header track and do control I. Check, check. All right, level sounds good. Once again, I can press command two to jump into the mixer. Now in, dot comparison, mixer, tracks, window, vocal, partially hidden, channel. C puts me right on the vocal track, interact with that. In vocal, partially hidden, channel. Via left arrow. Off, off, on, mix, 0 0.0, off, minus 9.1, P, and button. You see my peak is at minus 9.1, and that should be good for what we're going to do here today. I'm going to command W to close the mixer. Now in, dot. I'm going to set the count in down to one measure. Menu bar, Apple. Go to the record menu. Record. Count in, submenu, one bar, check mark, one bar, one bar, check. All right, so in Logic, whenever you record without undoing the recording or deleting the previous recording, it will automatically create a take folder for you by default. So if you just record over the same section three or four times, it, you'll have a take folder with three or four takes in it. And then we'll look at how to go through those takes. I'm going to turn input monitoring back on. I'm going to press the letter R to start recording, and then we'll go from there. One bar, one beat, one take. Let's do another take. So I'm just going to hit R. Start recording again from bar one. One bar, one beat, one tick. And I'm going to turn input monitor and off. All right. So there we have our free takes. And I am going to jump into the track contents area. Out of tracks header. So group. stop interacting with track editors. I'm going to navigate to the right. Tracks contents. Your right. Interact with that. In tracks contents. Group. And items. I'm going to navigate with your down arrow. Track two guitar. Track three vocal. Track background. There's a vocal track. Let's interact with track background. In track three vo vocal. Take three. Region. And there you see vocal take free is selected. If I hit space to play this, one bar one beat one tick. One bar one beat one tick. And let's just solo this vocal track for a second. Toggle channel straight. One bar one beat one tick. One bar one beat. And we can press command shift up or down arrow to cycle through these takes. So command shift down. Vocal take two region. Takes me to take two. One bar one beat one tick. Uh, uh, one bar one. My horrible singing. I apologize again. Command shift down. Takes me to take one. Vocal take one. Da, one bar one beat one tick. One bar one beat one tick. Toggle channel. One bar one beat one tick. One bar one beat one tick. Command shift up. Vocal take two. Region one bar one beat one tick. One bar one beat one tick. Command shift up again. One bar one beat one tick. One bar one. And that's basically how you cycle through the takes. And I'm just uh, hitting VO left arrow. Vocal. Take three. I think there's only one region here to get it to say the take name again. That's just uh, a habit I've gotten into. 
um, when switching takes just to hear the take name. All right, so I'm going to jump into an actual project with someone I can actually sing and show you how to comp some vocals. All right, so we're back here in Logic, and I got a different project open. And what I'm going to do is move off the track. So I'm just going to view down and view up. Track 16, view vocal. Track 15, audio one. Groove. So audio one is a track with the vocal that I want to comp, and. This time I'm going to go into the track contents area. Now you can stop interacting with the track headers via right and interact with the track contents. Or if you're on the track header, you can just hit VOJ. In tracks contents, group. Jump right into the track Travel. contents. And now I'm going to go look for audio one. I think it's track 14 or 15. Track, 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 eight, friend, track, nine, track, 10, pops, track, track, 12, track, 13, track, 14, full strings, plot, track, 15, audio one, track, All background. Right. Track, 15, audio one, interact with this. Audio one, take three, region. And you see we have the region here. And if I press VO shift H. Region starts at one bar, one beat, one division, one tick, and ends at 73 bars, three beats, three divisions, 49 ticks. Take folder, a container for multiple takes. Double click to show or hide the contents. And you see that region goes from measure one to measure 73. This is a slow enough song that we're able to do free takes of the vocals back to back. That's why it goes from the start of the track to the end. And thanks to my friend Megan H for doing the vocals for me on this one. You with the sad. Eyes. Don't be discouraged, oh, I realize it's hard to take courage. And so you see that's take three that we're on. Audio one, take three, region. So in Logic, how you comp vocals basically is you just split the regions and you select a different take. And whatever take is currently selected is automatically the active take. So the key commands to so cycle through takes are command shift up arrow takes you to the next take. Command shift down arrow takes you to the previous take. So I believe there are only three takes on this track. Audio one, take three, region. So take three. So if I do command shift up arrow. Audio one, take one, region. See, so it goes to take one because that's the next take. Audio one, take two, region. Take two, and... Audio one, take three, region. Take three. Command shift up arrow, so if I do command shift down arrow... Audio one, take two, region. And you see that takes me back down to take two. All right, so I'm going to go down to take one. Audio one, take one. And because this is the first region on the track, I'm just doing VO left arrow because there's nowhere else to go, and it just happens to announce the name of the region as well. If I do VO shift H. Region starts at one bar, one beat, one division, one tick, and ends at 73 bars, three beats, three divisions, 49 ticks. Take folder, a container for multiple takes. Double click to show or hide the contents. You see that will give me the length of that take as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the playhead closer to where the chorus starts. Two bars, one, three bars, one beat, one, divi four bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Four bars, one beat, two division, four bars, one beat, three divisions, three bars, one, two bars, one beat, three, four bars, one beat, one division, one tick. Let me set the division value to a quarter note. So Control, three. command, slash. And... Four bars, two beats, one, four bars, three beats, one tick. And I'm going to solo these vocals. So I just hit S to solo the vocals since I still have the track editor selected from before. Four bars, you three beats, one tick. With sad eyes. Four right, bars, three so beats, one tick. I'm just going through this first line. So I'm going to do command shift up arrow. Four bars, you three beats, one tick. With the sad eyes. That four bars, three beats, two. one tick. Audio one, take two, region. Yep. And then take three. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With sad eyes. Four All right, so I'm like in take two. So we command shift down arrow, and I'm gonna unsolo this just to check it with the music. Toggle channel strip solo off. You four bars, three beats, one tick. Four bars, three beats, one tick. And I'm gonna mute voice over here. My key command to do that is Option Z. This is a keyboard commander that I've set up. Speech muted. You with sad. Nice. All right, and so that works. So I'm going to split this right after that line. I'm going to solo this just to make sure I can hear uh, that I'm not cutting off a breath or something. You with the sad eyes. And I just hit period to pause that. And I'm going to split here with Command T. Turn my speech, speech back on. on. Audio one, take two, region. Audio one, take two, region. All right, so I just used VO right arrow to navigate to the second region that I just created on the track because I split. Region starts at five bars, four beats, 80 ticks, and ends at 73 bars, three beats, 529 ticks. Take folder, a container for multiple. And you see this region is now active because I've navigated to it. So I'm going to hit space to play again. Five bars, Don't four beats, 80 ticks. Don't be discouraged, oh, I realize. 
All right, and command shift up arrow again. This is take one. Five bars, four beats, eighty ticks. Don't be discouraged, oh, I realize. Five bars. And that's take one. Audio one, take one. Read. Yep. And this time I'm just using VO right arrow because this is the last region in the track, so it kind of dongs at you and tells you the name of the region. All right, so I like take three for this, so... If I do command shift up arrow twice, that should take me to take three because command shift up arrow goes to the next take. So next take from take one, it would be two and then three. So twice and audio one, take three, reach. All right. So once again, unsolve this to check it with the music. Toggle channel, five bars, four beats, Don't 80 ticks. Be discouraged, oh, I realize. Five. All right. So that works for me. So same deal. I'm going to play this pause it and then split again and in logic if you don't have a full size keyboard so you don't have access to the period key to do pause unless you're scrubbing you don't necessarily have to map the period to be somewhere on a QWERTY keyboard because you can use command control space as a play pause option as well and let me uh, show you how that works I'm just going to hit command control space to play and then command control space to pause so if I do control command space there we go ticks. I'm going to split right there so command T split regions events at play head position and now if I navigate one over. Audio one, take three, region. You see take three. So now if I do VO shift eight. Region starts at seven bars, three beats, 939 ticks, and ends at 73 bars, three beats, 529 ticks. Take folder, a container for multiple. All right. And once again, uh, we can cycle through. So because this is take three, if I do command shift up arrow, that's going to wrap back around to take one. So here we go. I'm just going to do a VO right arrow to get that done. Audio one, take one, region. Yep, take one. So command control space again to play from here. Seven bars three beats nine hundred thirty nine ticks. Seven bars three beats nine hundred. Right. So that's a quick example of how to comp. Once you have these takes selected, the currently selected takes are going to be active takes, and that's pretty much it. All right. So you can just proceed through the project, split in and select an active regions as you go through the project. And if you ever really need to redo any of these regions, you can always navigate back to these regions with VO left to right arrow, find a region that you want. You can do VO shift H to hear where that region starts and end and uh, change what the active take is. And you can rename a take with shift T and you can delete a unneeded take if you don't want it in a take folder anymore with shift option for delete. So I'm gonna get out of here and go back to the track header out of tracks contents group tracks header group so just stop interacting with the track background area and track contents interact with the track tracks header. header group 17 items track 15 audio one group and you see that puts me back on the track header for track 15. now once you are done with comping uh there's a couple different options you have now if you want to keep this track intact with all your takes you can use control option shift n to export your active takes to a new track so you want to come back onto this track header, track 16, Virvo, track 15, audio one, group. move off the track header and back onto it. So you select all the regions on the track because all the regions on the track are selected. All the active takes on the track are now selected. You can use something like control option shift N to export all the active takes to a new track, or you can use control option N to move all the active takes to a new track. And the difference is export will send a copy of all the active takes to a new track and leave them in the take folder. So the take folder remains entirely intact. Moving them with control option N will put all the active takes on a new track and remove them from the take folder. So they will no longer be available in the take folder. That's useful if you want to then use the same takes for back and vocals, doubles, et cetera, et cetera. Then you know that all the active takes are removed. So then you can go through the take folder again and comp again and use them for doubles, et cetera. The other options you have are option U that flattens the take folder and merges it. So that will get rid of anything that's not a currently selected active take and also merge all the takes into one region so that they're not split into separate regions anymore. And then you have option shift U, which will just flatten the take folder, get rid of anything that's not currently an active take, but then they will still be split into separate regions. So those are your different ways to do it. You can use control option shift N 
to export to a new track, control, option N to move to a new track. If you don't want to create a new track and you know you don't just take folder, you don't need to keep a backup of it, then you can just use option U to flatten a merge to join all the active takes into one new region, or you can do option shift U, which will get rid of anything that's not currently an active take, but will leave them split into separate regions. All right. So I'm back here on the track header. I just wanted to demonstrate that you don't necessarily have to go into the track contents to comp. You can actually cycle through takes and comp right from here. You just won't know which take you're on necessarily because that part won't speak. So case in point, I'm going to throw this vocal along. track. Four and if I play, with a sad Four bars, three beats, one tick. Now, if I do command shift up arrow, four bars, three beats, one tick. With sad eyes. Four bar you see, I'm going through and changing takes right from the track header. Command shift up arrow again. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With sad eyes. Four All right, so let's say I want to go with that second take. So I'm going to do command shift down arrow. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With sad eyes. Four bars, three beats, one tick. And same deal. I can just let this play. Four bars, three beats, one tick. Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. Pause it there. Split. split. Regions events at playhead position. And as always, when you split in logic, what is to the right of the playhead is selected, and you can use Control Home and N to verify that. Bars, Control beats, 500. N. Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four tick. Control Home bars, and so. Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. I can command shift up arrow again. Don't Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. Don't I realize? Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. Command shift up arrow one more time. Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. Don't I realize? Five bars, four beats, three hundred sixty-four ticks. And if I go command shift up one more time, because we only have three takes, Five that's why I started on. So let's say I want to go with that previous one. Command shift down. Alright, and I just pause it again. Split. And same deal. What's to the right of the play how to select it? Seven bars, four beats, four hundred twelve ticks. And I just use Control Home and N to verify Seven I got the right section. Seven. And so you can go through and actually cop right here from the track headers if you just want to do it by ear and you're not concerned with knowing the take number that you have selected currently.